binder clip keys off. You know how you hook them onto it? Okay. Awesome. Okay, good afternoon. Hi. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, Lord, I know we're all tired, right? So here's the deal. I'm Nicole Liddell, principal at Newburgh, finishing my fourth year there, third year with this MDC initiative that's not now an initiative. It's what we do at Newburgh. I'm going to speak with you one minute or less. So then I can have my colleagues come up. You're going to hear from Stacy Urban, our eighth grade principal, who is the administrator who helps support MDC as well. And you're going to hear from Karen Jackpots, a teacher who's in the trenches, who literally, very old school, rows, desks were perfectly in rows, and students sat down, and she stayed at her one spot. Am I lying, Karen? No. Are you taking my It's different now, but bottom line, it didn't start that way. And it has taken three years, and we're still working. We're not perfect. There are no secrets at Newburgh. But I will share this with you, administrators to administrators and, and anyone else in that position. <coughs> you've got to make sure, even with these little bullets, you've got to make sure that your colleagues know what's going on, and you're just not doing the lip service but they know what MDC is. You also have to make sure that you first connect with the right teachers, not to get buy-in, because that's just temporary, but just to get investment, okay? Because even if you start slow, you, go, you know, you start slow to go fast, right? So start with the right person or a couple of people to get the investment. And then don't expect for it to happen overnight. Because again, three years with this concept of a different style of our kids learning math, that's tough. But definitely make sure you are constantly communicating, my one minute's up, constantly communicating <laughs> with all <laughs> colleagues about what is going on so they know the language and it's authentic. Pick the right folks to begin with. Because when they're invested, then they can have others drink that Kool-Aid, and it makes it easier. Bottom line, <coughs> the kids will benefit, period. For us at Newburgh Middle School, Stacy Urban, as you start coming over, I don't mind sharing. I had to be very intentional about what colleague is going to help me lead others. Stacy has a math background. Stacy loves the idea of letting kids freaking struggle for a bit. Don't get it to them. So with her acting as a leadership, in this leadership team to support our teachers, it's been golden. I did try to get savvy with some funding and, and help pay, because when you pay, teachers, guess what? They will come. They will come. And when Stacy Urban feeds teachers, they will come. So we have a nice little partnership going on to support our teachers at Newburgh through this process. And even before this meeting, I was sitting in my office talking about how we are crafting classes next year in the master schedule that promote that productive struggle with math. You know, and, and Leslie was happy to be there, but anyway. So for us at Newburgh Middle School, we didn't know what the heck we were getting into. But this has been great for our kids as we keep, you know, moving up. All right, Stacey Urban. Oh, oh. Just make sure they know the data. Here's the deal. The data is big. All right, so again, Newburgh Middle School, no secrets out there. Everyone asked, did you make your AMO? Because you know AMO is the way to go. And no, we didn't. We missed it by 0.7 tenths of a point. But we were the only middle school in JCPS to make gains in all five tested areas. Gap kids rocked it out. If you look at our data, and of course, one indicator doesn't mean, did you make your AMO? No, we didn't. However, you look at our data, and we're pleased. You hear me? We're pleased. And again, it doesn't happen overnight, but we are getting it. Okay? So, Stacey Urban, is that good? Awesome. All right. I just said everybody wants to know what's the data saying. Oh, they do, they do. What is it? What's the data? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Um, she spoke in one minute. No, I did I was more like three. Go ahead, and say it. And I'm going to do my best to speak in less than a minute. Um, um, 
What's your name? Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Four o'clock. I know. You too. Um, I'm just going to speak briefly. I have like a couple of little handouts you can read them for yourselves. But one of the things, um, some of the things I wanted to share with you, as Nicole said, um, Newburgh had to take a real close look at ourselves, and it wasn't something pretty. Um, our data was not good, especially in the area of math. Um, we could come up with all kinds of um, reasons for that. Uh, many times we like to blame it on the kids. Um, we have a certain kind of kids that come from this group. Um, we have more comprehensive than AP kids. We came up with all the excuses. And finally, we just had to get to the point that maybe, just maybe it had something to do with us. Um, so we had to take a real good look at ourselves and realize that our kids deserve more. And we had to step out of the box to do something different. Even though that something different um, did not necessarily feel good, um, we had to do something for the sake of our kids. So we've been in the program for three years. What have we done differently? Well, just a few things that we focus on sustaining the movement that we have started. Um, the first year, yes, we had four teachers. Yes. Um, one from each grade level and an ECE teacher. Um, started off small, and then each year we continue to add teachers on board. With this being our third year, all teachers at Newburgh have had some experience with MDC. Again, we still have a way to go. We've changed our master schedule in order to support MDC um, so that we could have PLC time um, during the day um, and common planning. And that common planning was important so that teachers were able to work together to implement the things that we were asking them to. Also, it allowed them to minimize their level of stress because as they were going through and preparing, they had um, a lot of sounding boards, a lot of people to work with. So that was also key. We were trying to be very intentional about certain things, making sure that teachers understood initially the first year it was what is a foul, and yes, you will do one, and yes, Leslie will be here. It's just the initial part of it. And then very intentional about making sure that teachers had a support group, and we'll talk a little bit more about what some of those things are. Um, and then we also made sure there was opportunities for teachers to go outside of their classroom and see files in place from other teachers, just so that they can say, ooh, if I'm sitting from this perspective, I would have done, and then can mentor each other was also um, huge. I'm going to skip that page, you all can read it for yourself. Um, one of the things that um, I I think is unique to Newburgh is that I also was able to attend all of my teachers trainings as an assistant principal that was huge for me um, yes I have a math background so that kind of stuff was fun but it allowed me to actually participate um, and not as an observer but as a participant as my teachers would gave me more information than my teachers could come back and say I need this I need that I need this because right there at the table, we can problem solve. Okay, we just got this information at Newburgh, what is that going to look like? And so it was very hands-on, and it allowed me to provide my teachers support, not just from what they heard, but because I was already there mentally with them, as well as physically. So it kind of gave us a jump on that, as well as helping me to understand exactly what am I asking my teachers to do. Uh, many times we would be like, okay, we need you to do a file. But well, really, what is a file? Well, if you haven't experienced that or gone through the training, um, you might think, well, the teachers just want to teach a lesson. There is so much more to preparing for a file, and there's so much, um, a lot of rich data that you would receive from it. And actually, it is the second part of the data, and what are you going to do with that data after you've implemented this lesson? That's the huge part. You might not have gotten that if you weren't a part of some of the training. And when you work with Leslie, who is golden, by the way, um, you will, as an administrator, be, no, I won't say yes. you will have gain a lot of practice as well as being able to guide your teachers in that process. So um, being there has helped me with their expectations. And I'm going to tell you this, oh my goodness, 
your teachers will struggle and think, oh, I can only do this with my AP classes um, initially. And then helping our teachers to understand, as Nicole had said, um, all kids can succeed. So it is a mind shift. And it's three years. Some of our teachers, it's night and day. You're going to um, hear from one in a moment. But then you're going to have some teachers who are still spectacle, I mean, struggle, I'm sorry, can you talk right now? Thank you for saying that for me, with those, our comprehensive kids. But the surprising thing is, and I'm hopeful Jacqueline will speak to that, it's our comprehensive kids that have made the biggest gains at Newburgh. That's right. It's not our AP kids, which has been eye-opening for us in that, okay, so then what are we doing or not doing with our advanced program students? Right. But it is opening, I mean, encouraging to the fact that our comprehensive kids are the ones that are making the highest gains, our GAP kids. And so that is a win-win, which is usually the thing that most schools are looking for. Um, so being there, highlighting your strengths, talking with teachers and doing that. Um, the last thing I'm going to say, because my minute is almost up. <laughs> um, the last thing that I am going to say is um, we uh, would often meet together um, after school. You would come into a meeting and you will see teachers up teaching other teachers and teachers in the role of students. Um, we would have a whole lot of fun. Sometimes we would have the bad kid and you know all that kind of good, the whiny kid, all that kind of stuff. But the, it was good for our teachers, one, the teacher who was presenting the file, to have gone through the whole file, to think through questions, to think through, oh, what if, when this happens, what would I say, what would I do? It was also beneficial for my teachers who were also there so that they could give good feedback to um, the person who was presenting. Um, because many of them would be presenting that same file themselves. So it was a rich PLC in which we were able to share and build upon each other's strengths. Um, of course, as Nicole said, if you feed them, they will come. And so uh, we like to do a lot of laughing and eating. Thank you very much. Okay, I've been called a lot of names and y'all probably a little confused, but um, for 22 years in the system, I've been Karen Jackman, and recently I got married, and my last name's Potts, and the kids call me Jack Potts at school, so that's why they keep referring. Uh, I've been in JCPS for 23 years. I've been at Newburgh Middle School for 23 years. So, uh, yes, I was that um, old-fashioned teacher where my uh, desks were in rows 32, and we either worked out a book or a worksheet. Uh, every Friday was a test. That's the way I rode for 20 years. And for some kids, that was fine. Uh, but like Ms. Adele and Ms. Uh, Irvin said, uh, you need to find the teacher that is open-minded and ready to try something new. And that's the kind of person that I am. I knew that um, I can look in the mirror and go, you're not doing something right anymore. Something needs to change. So they said, Karen, you're going to this training. And if you've been in JCPS for that long, you know, my first thought was, here we go again. We're going to learn something new. It's going to stick around for a couple years, and then it's gone. But hey, I'm going to just go you know, drink the Kool-Aid for a couple years, whatever. What sold me on this was Leslie, Texas. OK? Told you I was going to throw you out here. And then after spending two days with Leslie, and I'm like, you know, this is pretty cool. The support that the district gives us is not like anything else that we've had before. Um, yes, there'll be other meetings that uh, the teachers can go to, okay, but Angela's team will come out to your class and work with you and your students, and it's not an evaluation. It's they will work with you and your students, and then they will meet with you and tell you, hey, this was great, this is what you can do better. And it's not a feeling of, oh, you're just a pitiful teacher, whatever, you're not being evaluated. And then the support I got from <coughs> Newburgh. Um, Stacy and I have worked together for years, 15 uh, plus years. I'm not that old. Uh, yeah, I know, you're not that old, but I am that old. <laughs> um, that sort of support. So, you know, I was like, 
Okay, okay. But what really sold me on the change? And, I, and I, I'm, I'm not perfect. And Newark's not perfect. And uh, this was not in the first year. It was on my last foul my first year. And um, I had the kids write something and tell me what you liked about a foul. Or just tell me something about the foul. And my kids said, what I like about doing the fouls is that you're not up there teaching. We're in a group, we're discussing, we're talking, we're manipulating things. It's not you up there just teaching us. So, whoo, that was like, hmm. So, the way I have changed, and it's not every single day in my classroom. Some days we are doing a worksheet, but it's not 32 problems. It might have 32 problems on it, but the kids get to pick 15 of their own problems they want. And maybe they're working together you know, collaboratively and discussing. Uh, but I've changed my th way of thinking. Um, doing things differently, doing card sorts. Um, we do a lot of whiteboard things. We did do a lot of discussions. It's just not me up here talking like I'm talking to you all. I've changed my thinking. So when my eighth grade teachers, the other two teachers, we get together in our PLC, I have another teacher that I've worked 23 years with, and she is very traditional. And she's in her second year in MDC. And I come to her and say, Jean, look at this great task that I found online. Or if you've ever, teachers pay teachers, it's a wonderful site. Look what I found, it's wonderful. Oh, I gotta have that. She has opened up. And I mean, we're so old school. I mean, it's just been amazing. So, as Ms. Adele said, go to the teachers that can look at themselves and say, hey, I can change. Because you have to have somebody that has an open mind to start this off and has the energy. And I still have lots to learn. I'm not perfect with my fouls. Um, because the thing about NDC is it's not just, it's not all about fouls. That it's, you know, uh, we still have teachers in the building that think, okay, I do the minimum fouls I'm supposed to do every year, and that's it. And I still have my kids in a row, 32, and still do the same old thing. It's just really about changing your whole perspective on teaching because we are fighting kids with electronics every day and then wonderful cell phones every day. And they need something different every single day to keep them on their toes and keep them engaged. And it's not the only way that we were all taught. So that's me. That's my five minutes.